This morning, we're going to be talking about uh, gauge blocks. Basically, how to clean them and how to ring them together. Here, let me show you. Good morning. I'm Glenn Nowakowski, and you're watching Glenn Now. Here, first we're gonna to ring together a couple of small ones. I like to clean them. They say, a lot of people have told me that one of the best papers to clean them on is a coffee filter. I'm not sure why, maybe because it's so porous and the oils and stuff go into it. Uh, I was told, go on a flat surface. You could probably do this on a surface gate, uh, plate also. Wipe it that way, wipe it this way, put it down. Again, same thing with the other one. And now that they're clean, we're gonna take the two surfaces. Just twist them together. And as you see, they're stuck together. Uh, we're gonna try something a little more risky the two inch and a one inch let's wipe this off wipe this off same with this two inch okay I like to take my gauge marks and sort of rub them together you can kind of feel when it gets tighter There you have it. Holding the one inch and the two inches just sticking out into the air. It's called ringing them together. Now if you were in the UK, you'd be calling it slipping them. They're called slip blocks there. Here they're called gauge blocks. Or sometimes people call them Joe blocks because the man who invented this Page Blocks was called Joe Hansen was his last name and they broke it down to Joe Blocks but there you go like that I hope you enjoyed this bit of information and I'll see you next time at Glenn Now on YouTube